I'm Liberty Munson, Microsoft's psychometrician. Welcome back to Ask a Certification Expert. Today's topic is on exam scoring. Does 700 really mean that you have to answer 70% of the items correctly to pass? Unfortunately, I'm going to break some hearts today. The answer is no. This 700 is actually what we call a scaled score. The way we actually set the cut score is we ask subject matter experts to review the questions on the exam in conjunction with who our target audience is. Using those two pieces of information, they give me a recommendation on where we should set the cut score. That cut score might require you to answer 60% of the questions correctly or 80% of the questions correctly. We simply take that number and scale it to 700. Now you're wondering, well, why do we do this? Why do we make this so complicated? Well, the answer is two-pronged. The first reason is it makes it very easy for me to tell people that in order to pass a Microsoft certification exam, you have to answer, you have to have a score of 700. Very simple, very clean, everyone understands that. It's the score that's common across all of our exams. But more importantly to you, why do you care? Scaled scores actually allow you to determine if you've made improvement from one take to the next. Heaven forbid you have to retake our exams. Clearly you want to know if you're making improvements. The only way to do that is to scale scores. Because this cut score, the percent of answer items you actually have to answer correctly to pass, will vary depending on the difficulty of the items that you see in a particular take. So we scale scores so you can understand if your score is higher, you've actually made an improvement in terms of your understanding of the, the knowledge for that exam. So don't worry about it. Just understand you have to have 700 in order to pass. The percent of questions will vary from exam to exam. Do your best and you will have success.